Today's date is Saturday, August the 24th, and it's 2024. I'm making this video because today I woke up near Doylestown and I needed to do my laundry. So I uh, went to my gym, showered, and I went to Starbucks, grabbed a coffee, and on my way out to do my laundry, I went down a road that was the town square in Doylestown. And it just so happened to have a, I saw a Trump flag and I heard like Trump's voice. And I noticed right next to their tent or their booth, I noticed right next to them was Kamala's booth, uh, supporters for Kamala. So it was, a, it was like a, a voting, um, rally uh with trump supporters and kamala supporters there and so i felt led to stop and at least let them both know that i'm in doylestown i lived there before and um of course they were wanting to know who would i be voting for so i went to both booths and knowing what my heart has already told me and what i'm supposed to do I listened to both of them. I listened to what the campaign was for the supporters there for Trump, the values, what Trump stands for, and their opinion at Doylestown. And then I went to the tent booth of Kamala Harris, and I wanted to hear from the two that were standing there and supporting. In, in their booth, what Kamala stood for. Personally, I haven't been keeping track of the political thing. I do know that there's such an aggravation and division and lack of uh, respect from both parties. Uh, one party will say this about the other and the others will say about this and the other. And I, I feel that, I sense it, and I don't like that too much. So, but I wanted to hear what both parties, they were right next to each other, had to say. And they were right next to each other. Not only that, they were playing, you know, the speeches and some music. Uh, both of them had a speaker system going. Uh, both of them were speaking. Um, you could hear Kamala's voice in one and you could hear Trump's voice in the others over loud. And I was able to hear like what they both stand for and I was able to sense and take it all in from the people that were there as well. And I also heard a lot of discouragement for Trump uh, being there in the town square. A lot of people in the city of Doylestown didn't really like Trump at all. And I've asked quite a few people why and I'm getting the common answers which I'm hearing some things that I personally would not like either. And then, and people are very agitated and people are very angry and people are very mad at Trump. And then I've heard from Kamala's side about why Kamala would be a better candidate. And this is what I'm hearing, supporting of rights and as people um and it's the presence of that felt very natural for me and my heart reaches out to both of them honestly because knowing in my heart the choice that i'm making is not about trump it is not about kamala for me since 2018 my choice is for the lord jesus christ and so when i heard people saying Get that flag of Trump out of my face. Not for me, yet, of course. That's another part of this testimony. But I heard people that they were carrying the Trump flags, you know, 2024. And they were saying, get that out of our face. Or you should turn that music off. It's such a disgrace to hear that on a Saturday morning. Just different things like that. I, I, could, I could just see the bitterness in people's faces. And um, at the true aggravation um, of half, having to deal with that and then I could also see people that were actual Trump supporters there 
and they were Trump all the way. And, you know, they were fist bumping and uh, mainly the men were standing up for Trump. The women were not so much. Um, so, but all in all, I came there because I believe in the Lord Jesus. When the Lord told me to make this hat, it's very prophetic. It says the number 47 on it okay for a reason and it has an arrow there that's covering at least my ear and i notice what the lord's doing in my life he's doing it in somebody else's life that's just how it works um if i come to a region that's very hot suddenly he makes it very cold so i can have peace and comfort and sleep in on mission he's not going to just do that for me obviously if i'm in a region he's doing that for the region so there might be things like if it's cold outside, he might heat it up for me because I'm not sleeping in the back seat in freezing degrees. So he's got a way to make it warmer. The sun will come out. It'll make things a little warmer. That fire is hot upstairs. Likewise, in the in the summertime, if I'm having to be back here do, on a mission for the Lord and it's hot in a region, he'll drop the temperature. I've seen this. Others have seen this. Others can testify, which is very awesome. And that's why I believe in the Lord Jesus. And um, since 2018, I've been a believer. Uh, I'm sorry, a reborn Christian. And I don't know about anybody else, but part two of this testimony at the Trump, I uh, was there to pray. And I was there to pray for not just Trump, but also Kamala. Okay. My heart standing at a place where they're both left and right together there in the square in a group of people one side was very agitated the other side was as peaceful as can be and for me i didn't like it i didn't like that and i think that the truth needs to be brought out so uh the trump supporters they saw that i was also for trump and they also saw that i was speaking to kamala's booth as well and they saw that I wasn't disagreeing to them. I was standing for both. And so it just so happens I was across the street praying. And a Trump, so one of them from the Trump booth came with me, came over to me and put a flag of Trump 2024 and a vote for Trump. Asked me if I would hold that. She had to go get something. Well, she never came back. So I was sitting there holding that for at least 30 minutes or longer. And my arms were getting tired. And I said, well, if I'm going to stand here for Trump, well, can I have a Kamala flag? I'll stand for both. Because I, I truly believe in the Lord Jesus. I don't think it's about Trump or Kamala at this point. I believe those are the physical leaders, and I understand the right to vote. But I truly believe in the Lord Jesus. And so if I'm going to hold a Trump flag, I need a Kamala flag. But they wouldn't give me their flag. It was the Trump supporters that came and said, well, you hold this. I have to go over there and grab something. And then they left me there with a flag. And across, another woman was taking a picture of me, as I am, like this. And I said, well, okay. Obviously, you know, I'm supporting the Lord Jesus. And Jesus loves me as I am. So I walked over to Kamala's booth, and they had a rainbow flag for the LGBT. And I said, do you mind if I have one so I can support my people too? And she said, absolutely, take one. So I took the gay pride uh, flag and I'm out in the street holding the Trump and holding the gay pride in the right hand or vice versa left hand and right hand I'm holding both and suddenly they were smiling taking pictures and letting me stand there for 30 minutes suddenly she came over to me and she was really angry she said you know what this flag stands for how many colors on it I said well I said here's the six plus here's the triangle I said there's 11 colors on it she said, no, they stand for six colors. They're lying. God's, and she was very angry with me. And I said, but there's 11 colors on here. She goes, no, there's six. And I said, no, there's 11. She goes, they're, they've just added them. They're lying. They're this and that. They're that. And Trump doesn't stand for this. And I said, well, Jesus, I'm not here for Trump or Kamala. I said, I'm here for Jesus. Well, Jesus doesn't stand for this. I said, Jesus stands for me. I said, do you see how bright it is outside? Do you notice the regions? She goes, I don't know what you're talking about. I said, well, if I'm Shiloh, who's Shiloh? If I'm Shiloh, born August 10, 1977, well, who's this in Genesis Shiloh? 
my same birthday and she didn't know anything i said well then how would you know anything about christianity you call yourself a christian but you don't know who shiloh is you don't know that jesus has a new name written on him according to the revelation of philadelphia verse three through seven uh, three verse seven through thirteen how is it that you know jesus but you don't know that he has a new name and she was very angry with me now i didn't talk out loud for the whole world here but she was looking directly at me and i was looking at her and suddenly she took her flag back and everybody's watching this so my testimony is today in doyle's town how did i feel about this well i'm not very angry obviously i'm at peace because i know the truth i was there to pray i was there to see the support from both sides and I'm going to say this, we have such a division right now between right and wrong, between left and right, between man and woman. We have such a division and it's bitterness and it's anger. And I don't like that very much. I would have to say enough is enough of this for the anger, the bitterness and the division. I came there with this prayer oil like Mary Magdalene had oil for the feet of Jesus, had that oil at the cross, and had the oil, she was anointed. Jesus showed himself to her first. She saw the death, burial, and the resurrection before Paul wrote it. Mary Magdalene saw it. She saw it, and it was her faith that saved her, that sexual sinning woman, that woman that nobody liked. The woman that had very expensive oil that she used her oil for the death burial and resurrection of the lord my god the lord jesus christ and so like i said i was there for jesus but i also am supporting both left and right in such a way that maybe it, if they can't see what i'm saying i don't know what to say because in america where i've been all my life I love this place. I wake up every morning here. I've made friends here. Um, and I also have made a family here. And in order for me to have the life that I want, it's very important that I speak this so that you can all hear me. Um, whether you're supporting Kamala or whether you're supporting Trump, I would say enough is enough. This bitterness and anger and division is really really running the world and Jesus also paid for the LGBT so that's a new party of people that I would like to show that if the Lord is using somebody like me from the LGBT that he loves me and he loved Mary Magdalene and it was her faith her faith not their faith not that left right Christians left or right that didn't have the revelation see before Paul wrote about it he was killing the Christians but before Paul wrote about it Mary Magdalene the sinning woman that nobody liked she had the revelation of Christ and she in front of Christ boldly with his eyes watching in front of the lawgivers, the Pharisees at the dinner table that wanted to know who Jesus was. Is he really a prophet? Well, Jesus is really a prophet. And not only that, he has a really good redemption plan for both left and right and the division in America. And I hope one day you would want somebody like me that knows the truth looking like this with the arrow to the 47 take it how you will some say you could be safe some say it may not be safe but i would say in jesus name jesus don't die twice if jesus died so that we could have life and life more abundantly then Jesus has given all of us the same life. I hope you have a great day. And Jesus loves you.